Hello, welcome to this week's video. She keeps dragging me to fast flowing water. <laughs> I don't know why. So our travels continue by van as well as by boat. And this is the flooded river. Avon. Oh, this is the river right to the two, isn't there? Yeah. There's the Stour the Stour and, and the Avon. Avon. This is the Avon. This, this, this is I'm the sure river Avon in Christchurch. Because the Avon Marina. Oh yeah, a bit of a clue yeah, that one. Just a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I, I do try and remember <laughs> logically. The waters are receding slowly, and we really genuinely do hope that all of you that have been affected are okay and safe. Yeah, um, I know the clean up isn't nice, and our hearts really, really do go out to all of you. Very much so. So, in this week's video, we've done a couple of days of a day in the life of on our narrow boat. Shoot. So we've done it over a couple of days to give you a bit of variety. So we hope you enjoy it. Is it a weekend in the life of? It's a Friday and a Saturday. Oh, there you go, <laughs> weekend. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We do appreciate your support. And you know what the obligatory bit is? Without a hint, push the button, ring the bell. It's free to you, the world, and everybody. I'll see you at the end. Please subscribe. So, day in the life of boaters. Morning. And it starts with an early start with a coffee. brew. Thank you very much. I haven't even dropped my coffee yet. Well, it's the, This is how we start our day, sorting out our socials and catching up on our messages. Yeah, there you go. It's a bit close for comfort, those. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> so we've got the engine running because we've not been here for a few days. We're down to 29% on our batteries. So Paul's staying here whilst the engine's running and I'm just going for that run I keep threatening to go for. Uh, 10k done. If any of you are runners and you want a nice 10k route from the Vale, I ran down to Bourneville on the canal, got off at the railway bridge and then back up through Sturch and then the road to Edge Preston the so cricket round and then back down the road to the Vale University campus and it was a ten k. Bit of a sting in the tail with the hills at the end, but it's good to get the mileage in whilst I was out. Time to recover now. So as our day continues, it wasn't going to stay dry all day, was it? That would have been too much to ask. So I'm just walking about half a mile to where the van's parked at the moment so I can go into a food shop. And now the batteries are charged, we've managed to turn the engine off. So Paul's just going out for his run. But yeah, unfortunately, his is going to be a wet one. Uh, hey ho, at least he's getting out. Paul's just recovering from his run. It's Friday night, so we're getting back into our old routines. I'm watching a bit of YouTube, catching up with people. Got the fire on. And then I'm just cooking dinner. Which is a beef rang dang. And of course, he's got a bottle of wine to go with it. So, anybody will think we're drunkards. <laughs> Happy Friday night. So, it's now half past eight Friday night. We're still finishing off cheese. For Christmas. Chutneys. And we're still watching YouTube. We've got Pura Vida on there now. Hi guys. As today is moving day, it also means it's washing day. Which in turn means tumble dryer. And oh. clean bedding day. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I that one. So we're just like we say, getting the washing machine ready. Then we'll get the boat ready and then we'll have a short cruise into town to fill the water tank up. To get ready to cruise, we need to move stuff off the back deck. Makes sense. Then we need to take the canopy down. Put the doors back. 
a bit damp under here at the moment after all the rain we've had. This is where I need to move the camera. Just checking the bilge pump and the stern gland grease. Ropes are undone, chains are taken out. Now I've got a bit of a shiny screen, a bit of a reverse back down to the turning point so we can head into town. Slowly because of the fact that we're passing the boat. We can pray we don't turn around in it. And last time we did this, there was four boats moored here. This time there's only one, so it is a bit easier. And here we are, down at the turning point. No one else around, so that always makes it easier. Now for a three-point turn with 57 foot and 17 tons of steel. What do you reckon, honey? What's that, honey? <laughs> Three point turn for 17 tons of steel on 57 foot. Wow. Well, we'll see what happens, shall we? <laughs> Nose into the turning point. Some of these get quite silted up, but we know this one's not too bad because I've used it before. When you're doing these types of manoeuvres you have to slowly move your more so control from forward to reverse not just whack it straight through quickly so you don't damage your gearbox and we didn't bounce off the wall I haven't got there yet <laughs> normally takes about that long. I think Paul's going to have a shower whilst we're here to making the most of a bit of time whilst our water tank's filling. Paul's preparing this jug for his next order that he's got. Get it all up for me. 
<laughs> I have to brush the towpath before I remove. <laughs> As you can see, our roof is filthy, so I think I might get a bucket of hot water and start cleaning the roof. There's also a recycling bin here, so I've made Mister a cup of coffee, and I'm just going to go and get rid of all the recycling. One of the good things about the city centre is these recycling bins dotted all around the place. They don't take glass, but they take most other things, so that's handy. We're just filling up with water and Hugh is more dexterous and he's had some cleaning products off of us. He's had some washing up liquid and some spray cleaner. So thank you. You're very welcome. Making the most clear day and having some hot water whilst we're filling the tank up. Hot. hot water whilst the engine's running. Filling the hot water tank as well. So I'm trying to clear some of this muck off the roof. So we're filled with water we need to get another reverse so we can turn round and down through Gas Street to Roundhouse and find a mooring. Very impressed with how the bit of roof has come up that I've washed. You can see the difference there. So finish the rest of it off and we get round to a mooring. Here we are just going through Gas Street Basin. Hello Paul and Kate, looking forward to our meal with you this evening. Hey Heidi, this one's for you. Not sure if you've done this roundabout yet or not on your boat. Oh, um, she will have. But I know you talked about roundabouts on boats on your last video we watched. So there you go. Here we go then. Here we are, moored up. Gonna do it all in reverse now, put the canopy back up, move the shoe rack back up, and then we can finish washing the roof and decide what else to do. Oh, I know, I need to run back for the van. So that'll be the next thing. Get the roof done and then go back for the van. So we hope you enjoyed that. Something different, something new. As you can hear, we are still by the river, but we've turned around now. We've got the old quarry behind us at Christchurch now. Yeah. Just a bit, and there's a tower behind that, which is an English heritage freebie. Wow, free! free. Did you hear the words? Doesn't Paul happen found very free. often. <laughs> <laughs> Paul normally wants money spending to go and visit somewhere. Tash wants free. I found the free one this time. Thanks change. Yep. <laughs> Next week's video isn't about Christchurch. Or free. <laughs> it's about a fairly unknown canal that's run into disrepair but lots of work is going on to get it back up into the headlines and people visiting it okay i'm gonna learn about that one then <laughs> so yeah do join us next week for that one hope you enjoyed this one have a good one yeah i'm leaning i'm leaning yeah, you, keep moving. In. <laughs> no, you keep moving covering me so in that case it's push the button ring the bell it's free to you the world christchurch and everywhere else. See you next week. Take care. Keep safe.